So, you drive a car a mile, you sail a boat a nautical mile. Is, are they the same? Well, no. They're similar in lengths, they sound similar, but they have nothing to do with each other. So the term mile comes from, I believe it's pronounced mille passe, which is um, basically a thousand paces. A Roman legion going to somewhere would count off the paces. You go a thousand paces, you've gone a mile, just like there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. So um, a millennium is a thousand years, see? And that's where we get the mile. So um, now, by the way, people had country miles and city miles and different nations have different ideas of what a mile should be. So eventually somebody set the, um, the length and said that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. But this has nothing to do with the nautical mile. It's very difficult to measure paces in the ocean. You just get out of a boat and try it. It won't work. Um, it was very hard to de measure just the speed at which you were moving through the water. And that really didn't have a heck of a lot to do with where you were actually going or how fast you were getting there because the ocean had a current. But one thing they could do is they could measure, you know, they could navigate by the stars. They could chart the change in position of the ship. And they use that. So a nautical mile is 1 60th, um, so one nautical mile. I'm gonna just do n mile for nautical mile is equal to 1 60th of a degree. I don't, I know that's not the right term, but um, I go on. Is 1 60th of a degree. There are 360 degrees to go around the Earth. So basically, um, it is 60 times 360 um, nautical miles is equal to um, uh, circumference of the work, the circumference. Again, I'm probably spelling it wrong. Of the Earth. Uh, by the way, if you multiply this together, you get twenty-one thousand six hundred nautical miles. Um, that's quite a bit. Now, a regular mile is exactly 5,280 feet. One nautical mile is roughly 6,076. And I do mean roughly, it's not equal, it's roughly 6,076 6 feet. And the reason why, it wasn't set to be exactly a certain number of feet. It was set to be one, 60th of a degree around the earth. The earth, you know, the distance around the earth doesn't come out to exact numbers of feet. We can't set the size of the earth. So that's why it's not exactly that number of feet. So if you want to convert one nautical mile, and a U T I C A L mile is equal to um, 1.151 regular miles. So, the number of nautical miles is equal to the number of miles, regular miles, divided by 1.5, uh, 151. So, you want to convert miles to, neg to nautical miles, just divide it by 1.151. Remember, a nautical mile is bigger than a regular mile. So you're going to need less nautical miles to cover the same distance. And if you want to go the other way, um, the number of miles is equal to the number of nautical miles times 1.151. Because since a nautical mile is bigger than a regular mile, you're gonna need more regular miles to cover the same distance. I hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.